let us pray. Eternal Heavenly Father, dear God, Lord, we thank you for life and mission. God, we thank you for all the many blessings that you store upon us. God, we thank you for the many ways you made and the many doors that you opened for us. God, we want to always give your name to praise and we want to always give your name to glory. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. I do give all the honor and praise to the almighty God, Jesus Christ. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. Today, I want to talk with you about don't doubt God. Don't doubt God. The word doubt means a feeling of uncertainty, of lack or conviction. You see, faith can replace doubt. We must put our trust in God. You see, we trust our friends and family, but why not trust God? I promise you that God will never let you down. We know for certain, or we feel for certain, that the chair that we're about to sit in will hold us up. We believe it because the chair looks sturdy and the chair looks strong enough. It appeared to be strong enough. Faith can replace doubt. Hebrew 11 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence of things not seen. In other words, faith is believing and trusting in God when all the evidence point to it being impossible to do. Today, I want to sum up and set the setting for the message. Today, the scripture will be Matthew chapter 14. And it began, as I began to summarize, it had been a hard day. It began with Jesus receiving the news of the beheading of his friend, John the Baptist. Well, Jesus suggested to the disciples that they go over to the deserted place across the sea. And when they arrived, they found a crowd waiting for them there. Jesus ministered to them healing, healing the sick. But later in the afternoon, Jesus asked, the disciples asked Jesus to send the people away. But Jesus said, we first must feed them. And it was then that Jesus took five loaves of bread and two fish and he fed 5,000 men with the women and the children. Now Jesus commanded the disciples to get in the ship and go over on the other side while Jesus remained back and dismissed the multitude. He then spent time alone praying to the Father. In the meanwhile, the disciples encountered a storm. Church and life, we all gonna encounter some storms sometime. We all gonna have some rainy days sometime, and some sleepless nights. Can I get just one person to say amen? The songwriter said, if there had been no rain in your life, you just wait a while. And the strong wind began to blow against the disciples as though they had been rowing hard all night long and pushed them in the middle of the sea. Well, sometime around 3 p.m. in the morning, the Bible said the fourth hour, Jesus came walking to them on the water. Initially, immediately, they were afraid and they began to think that that was some type of spirit or some type of ghost. But Jesus assured the disciples that it was only him. But out of all the disciples in the ship, only one spoke up and Peter said, Lord, if it be that, then bid me to come to you. And the Bible said that Jesus didn't even hesitate. He didn't pause. He told Peter, 
come. See, somebody need to just come to Jesus now. No matter what you've been through, no matter what sins you committed, Jesus got his arms wide open and Jesus is just saying to you, come. Well, Peter took a venture of faith. The word venture means risky, daring journey. Peter took a venture means of faith and he began to trust God. The Bible said that Abraham took a venture of faith, leaving his family and beginning his journey, not really knowing his destination, but just following the word of God. How about David took a venture of faith as he faced a giant with only his slingshot and five stones and killed the giant Goliath. And Jesus said, come. And when Peter stepped down out of the ship, he began to walk on the water. He was focused looking at Jesus. And the Bible said that Peter began to walk on the water. He trusted the word of God. You're trying to have the situation on your own. Why not just place whatever you're going through in the hands of the almighty God? Church Peter was now walking on the water. As long as his eyes was focused fast on Jesus. See, sometimes defeat comes right after you won your greatest victory. I sometimes think and I sometimes believe that the devil is waiting down at the hill after every mountaintop experience that we experience. We all have crises that we go through. But we still got to stay focused and we still got to learn how to put our trust in Jesus. See, Peter was walking on the water until Peter looked down. And when Peter looked down, Peter began to see the wind boastful. And Peter became afraid and Peter began to sing. The Bible said, in other words, Peter began to go down. Peter realized that all of his help had to come from God because nowhere in the scripture did I read that Peter looked right at his fellow brothers in the ship and say, help me please. But the Bible said, but Peter looked to Jesus. Jesus was the author and the finisher of all our faith. And the Bible said that Peter cried saying, Lord, Lord, save me. See, in other words, the word save means to rescue. See, sometimes we all need rescuing and we need rescuing from ourselves. We just can't forget our past. We just can't forget the wrongness that we've done. We can't forgive ourselves. And when we are in trouble, church, when we are facing situations, we got to learn how to cry out to God and begin to tell the Lord, Lord, save me. And the Bible goes on to say that Jesus did not hesitate. But the Bible said immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught Peter. And Jesus began to say to Peter, oh, thou a little faith, wherefore did thou doubt? And when Peter and Jesus stepped on the ship, the Bible said that the wind ceased and the storm died. Why not trust God? Don't doubt it, but trust it. Let us pray. Father, no other help we know. Have mercy upon us. Understand that you won't let us down. God, we need your grace and we need your mercy, God. Lord, we are crying out like Peter. Lord, save me. Save me from me, God. Help me to forgive myself, God, and help me to learn how to trust you. Trust you at your word. 
God, you said, come. All be that us heaven laid, come. All be that need a loving Savior, come. Though our sins be great, but we're serving such a merciful God. And God is ready to rescue us. All we got to do is cry out and say, Lord, save me.